Hey guys, uh, we're gonna continue to talk about triangle similarity today. Um, and actually, let's not really continue. Uh, we're gonna start triangle similarity. Uh, we actually started yesterday, but I'm recording this uh, video a day later for those of you who missed our live session. Um, so we're gonna begin with uh, triangle similarity uh, with the first way to be able to tell whether triangles are similar, which is by AA. Essentially what AA stands for is when two angles of a triangle, of two separate triangles are congruent, then the, then the third, then the triangles must be similar. Okay? Now how do we know this? Well, technically, uh, technically if you have this angle, uh, J is congruent to angle X and K is congruent to Y, then we also know that L must be congruent to Z. Why? Because all three angles must equal to 180, and if these two are equal and these two are equal, then L and Z must also be equal. Therefore, since all the angles are equal, then the two triangles must be similar. This is something that we learned earlier, right? If all three angles in two separate triangles are the same, then that means that the two triangles are similar. Okay, <clears throat> so how can we use this AA postulate? All right. Well, if I'm looking at these two triangles, right, uh, I, I'll know that D and G are congruent. Why? Because these two are both right angles. Now, I know that H plus G plus K must equal 180 and E plus D plus C must equal 180. So if I take 26 and I add 90, <clears throat> and I add it to angle E, it must equal 180. So that means E must equal 64, which means E and H are congruent, right? And because E and H are congruent, that means I have two angles that are equal, and actually the third angle is also equal. So we know that the two triangles are similar. Okay, that's how I use it. All right, now, how can I show two triangles are similar, okay? If here I have triangle ABE, and then I have ACD, these are the two triangles, right? I know that angle ABE and ACD are both 52 degrees. Now, you might be like, well, Mr. Shu, I need two angles. Well, here's the thing, okay? A, B, E, and A, C, D share the angle A. So angle A is technically congruent to itself. So now I have two congruent angles, so therefore the triangles are similar. Right? A, B, E, right? And angle C are equal. They're both equal to 52. A is equal to itself, so therefore the two triangles must be similar. Okay? All right, let's keep going. So, um, a flagpole casts a shadow that is 50 feet long. At the same time, a woman standing nearby who is 5 feet 4 inches tall casts a shadow that is 40 inches long. How tall is the flagpole to the nearest foot? Now, the thing is, we are essentially assuming similarity here. Okay, we're assuming that the sun is hitting both of these at the same angle, okay? So if you have what? A woman that's five foot four inches tall and 40, uh, cast a 40 inch shadow, and then the flagpole is X feet tall and it uh, cast a 50 feet shadow, now I can write a proportion, okay? But the first thing I need to do is I need to con uh, convert the five foot four inches into inches, okay? so. It's 64 inches, right? How do I convert that? Well, they are 12, uh, 12 inches in a foot. 12 times 5 is 60. 60 plus 4 is 64. Okay? So the, the X feet, the flagpole, right, is X feet over the height of the woman, right? This is equal to the shadow versus the shadow here, Okay? Now, the reason why this is okay is because you have feet over inch, feet over inch, the proportions are going to be okay, okay? So you don't actually need to change the units. 
uh, into all the same units. If you cross multiply here, you get 40x is equal to 64 times 50. And then when you divide by 40, you get x is equal to 80, which means the flagpole is 80 feet tall. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't include that. There were, it was multiple choice. Okay. So, let's continue. Oh, actually, that's it. This is your homework. Cool. Uh, bye guys.